right hello friends namaste so today we are in the class number 2 on the control engineering or control system so today we are going to discuss about the mathematical modeling of various systems in the previous class we have seen introduction to the control system and also we discussed the main components what is the meaning of system what is the meaning of control system and also we have discussed the classification of control system there are mainly two types of classifications are there which are those open loop control system and also the closed loop control system so these are the things we have discussed in the previous class in this class we are going to discuss related to the mathematical modeling so what is the meaning of mathematical modeling we all know that uh, designing a new product and uh, designing a physical product is very costly when compared to the doing some analysis and all those things right so that's why so this is a mathematical modeling means any model any there may that may be a mechanical system that might be electrical system any system can be written in terms of mathematical equations mathematical differential equations not only related to the mechanical or engineering field we can write any uh, situations in economics everywhere that can be written in the forms of mathematical equations that is in terms of differential equation that will represents that system so that is what we are going to call as mathematical modeling in mathematical modeling we are going to apply some basic rules so for example in mechanical engineering the basic law is a newton's law in the same way in electrical engineering the basic law is kirchhoff law so we are going to apply some basic laws and we are going to derive the derive uh, differential equation that differential equation represents the system okay so from that system we are going to give inputs and we are going to study the what is the various outputs of the system so that is what we are going to call as mathematical model so we are we know we came to know that we are going to represent the system in terms of what differential equations by applying some basic laws okay so now since we are discussing about the mechanical engineering so we are going to take up the challenge of analysis of mechanical system in the mechanical system there are two types of there mechanical translational system and mechanical rotational system i will repeat once again in the analysis of mechanical system that means in mechanical system there are two types of there which are those mechanical translational system mechanical translational system mechanical rotational system okay translational system and mechanical rotation system what is the meaning of mechanical translational system the system, this in this the body is subjected to motion in linear direction okay in the linear motion so that we are going to call as mechanical translation system if the body is subjected to the rotation then the study is called as mechanical rotational system now let us take up the mechanical translational system so now i am going to explain to the mechanical translational system so here we are going to apply the uh, force on a rigid body of mass m when you apply the force the body is subjected to move in that direction in the linear direction v that means it is subjected to the displacement when there is a displacement so there will be a velocity when there is a velocity there will be a acceleration okay so when we are going to apply the force to the mass so then there will be a displacement if there is displacement there will be a velocity if there is a velocity there will be a acceleration these three components will be there when we are going to apply the force on a rigid body now we are going to apply the newton's law of motion 
what is the newton's law of motion when the force is applied on a rigid body that force will be equal to or the force will be consumed to produce the displacement velocity and acceleration so this is the newton's law of motion okay so in the mechanical translation system also the mechanical rotational system we are going to apply this basic law that is the newton's law of motion to write the differential equation so when we are going to talk about the mechanical system there will be mainly three components are there which are those mass strain and damper so these are the main three components in the mechanical translational system so now we are going to study the behavior of these three systems these three main elements any system can be represented with the help of three three elements which are those mass strain and damper now to write the differential equation we should know which element is going to behave in which manner so if you know the behavior of the different elements then we can write easily the the differential equations that represent the system okay so now i am going to write what are the main three elements of the mechanical translation system then i am going to explain what is the behavior of the as i told as i told in mechanical translation system or in a mechanical system there are mainly three elements are which are those mass damper and the strain so these are the main three elements in the mechanical system now let us consider one by one we are going to consider one by one and we are going to write the differential equation which represents the mass damper and the strain now the first one is mass let us consider a idle mass which is having a negligible friction so we are taking some assumption to know the behavior of the mass so here we are considering the mass which is having a negligible friction that means it is not having any damper no resistance then as per the newton's law the applied force is proportional to the opposing force okay so that is what the newton's law is telling applied force is proportional to the opposing force okay so therefore this can be written as f of m so that means so this is proportional to uh, what rate of change of acceleration d square x y Theory that you should know to solve the problems related to this. So, as per the Newton's law, applied force is proportional to the opposing force. So, that is proportional to the acceleration, rate of change of velocity. So, that we are going to call as acceleration. So, therefore, this equation can be done as F. To remove the proportionality, F is equal to F of M, that is the opposing force. That is equal to m d square x by d t square. So this is the differential equation which represents the behavior of the mass to the applied force. I think we already studied this in the vibration uh, slide. Okay. So now let us consider the friction. The friction can be represented as in this simple that is also called as damper. Okay. So here we are considering the negligible mass. We are going to apply the force to the negligible mass that is adding the friction. The friction is represented as the damper that is represented as V. Now, what is the as per the Newton's law? Applied force is proportional to the opposing force. Here we are considering the negligible mass. So therefore, we are going to consider only the friction frictional force that is called as f of f 
Have you got this one? The applied force is proportional to the frictional force. Okay. Next. Therefore, this can be done as F is equal to F of F, and the frictional force is propos proportional to the velocity. Okay. So here it is proportional to the acceleration. The mass is proportional to the acceleration, whereas friction is proportional to the velocity. How to represent the velocity? So that will be equal to d d x by I got this one. So this is the behavior of a friction for the applied force. F is equal to B into dx by dt. Okay. So now let us consider a spring. So let us consider a spring which is having a negligible mass and negligible friction. So then, as per the Newton's law, applied force. is proportional to opposing force this is opposing force here f of k right so that is a f of k is the opposing force so therefore we can write f is equal to f of k that is equal to x into sorry k into x rate x of k rate of change of sorry displacement of the represents the displacement i got this one the frictional force sorry velocity uh, this is spring right the uh, what is the behavior of the spring to the applied force is that is the as per the newton's law the applied force is proportional to the opposing force by spring that is called as f of k so to remove the proportionality this can be written as f is equal to f of x f of K that is equal to K into x of t. So that means we can summarize by this: mass is proportional to acceleration. That can be written as m into d square x by d v square. Here the mass in the case of damper, the friction force is proportional to the opposing force of a damper. That is proportional to the velocity. That can be written. as v into dx by dt whereas in the case of scale the spring spring is proportional to the which one displacement you have to remember this one that is mass is proportional to acceleration here the damper is proportional to velocity and the spring is proportional to the displacement so you need to remember this thing so then only we can be able to solve the problem okay i hope you got this uh, this class thank you namaste